The legions of Twilight fans wanted us to ask you about the hair. How did you come up with this hair? Uh, what's the process behind it? And do you intend hair, on keeping the hair, it? The hair, the hair, the hair, the hair. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. Well, um, see, there's a problem. Where, 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 uh, they first did the hair, the, the, the first press release. I don't know. There was some confusion over uh, how to do it. We have a lot of producers. We have a lot of uh, uh, input coming from all different directions. And so they decided to straighten my hair. My hair is naturally curly. Um, it's naturally brown. So they dyed my hair for the, for the part. And uh, they tried straightening it, and it just kind of ended up looking, looking awful. And, uh, but, uh, you know, we, we kind of found a middle ground where I got to keep my natural hair, which is curly, but uh, usually kind of hangs down. And they wanted to see my face, so they pushed it up and out. So basically, it, it was not my decision at all. It's just, uh, you know, the way things kind of played out. And how is it walking around in real life with that haircut? Are you enjoying that or what? Walking around in real life as a blonde is a little bit different, I gotta say. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I've been having more fun, but uh, it's not bad. I don't know. I, I, I'm a hat guy, so I wear hats all the time anyway, so wearing a hat, I've just been wearing a hat, I guess, double. <laughs> Naturally, got a bit of a southern twang to you. Uh, are you keeping that for the character, or have you kind of gotten rid of that? Well, um, I, I get rid of it in certain in certain areas. Uh, any, anytime I'm out of school, or you know, like ar around Bella, it's it's. I try to keep it as light as possible because since he's been around for 200 years, he hasn't been in Texas though that entire time. I mean, I haven't been in Texas that entire time. I get my action from my family, um, and I think. Uh, but Jasper, if you just, it would, it would be too much to have that that accent. You know, it's like, you, especially when you're pretending to be a normal kid. You know, and uh, I don't think anyone else up in Washington. If you had a Texas accent in Washington, in Forks, I think people would tend to notice a little bit more. <laughs> so try not to There's tons of, of vampire movies out there. Mm -hmm. What separates Twilight from the rest? Well, most vampire movies are all about the gore and the and the and the action and the violence. And uh, this movie's about, you know, the heart. You know, it's kind of um, about what moves us as as, as humans, and, and what is so moving to us that it, it is even encompassed beyond humanity. You know, it's like uh, these are creatures; they're not they're not people; they're not they're not humans. Kind of the decrepit side of everything. You know, it's like they're dead. They are dead. There's no there's no oxygen. Can't feel cold. Can't feel anything but you can still feel emotions mm -hmm. and uh, what do those emotions kind of lead you to do and um, you know you can choose morality uh, or you can choose the life that nature has kind of provided for you which is death you know it's kind of a life versus death story but not so much in the in the realm of whether you're gonna get killed or do or you know get to do some killing but uh, whether you're gonna choose to love life and you know, choose love. First off, just tell us about your character. Well, uh, I play Jasper Hale, um, also called Jasper Whitlock or Jasper Cullen. Got a lot of names. Uh, Jasper's from uh, the Civil War <laughs> era, and uh, that's when he was turned and became a vampire. And since then, he's been uh, kind of wandering around. Has a great backstory. The backstory is incredible. But that takes place in the later books. Uh, in this movie, Jasper is very angry and uh, still very reticent about his lifestyle of not eating humans. Jasper has the power to manipulate emotions. And um, th there's a danger in that. There's a danger in, in having that, that ability. Because you, if you're constantly manipulating emotions around you, there's nothing, there's no, re, there's no reality around you. And uh, since Jasper is able to distort reality, it's kind of I, 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 I wanted to steer away from that. I wanted to, everything to be as real as possible. So I tried to make the choice to have him not use the power and be as stoic as possible, be as still, and just concentrated on, you know, keeping himself at bay, mm -hmm. especially. Uh, in terms of the hunger. The coolest thing about being a vampire 
Well, I'd have to say the uh, the coolest thing, the singular coolest thing to me would have to be uh, the ability to just stay out of the sun. You know, the having to stay out of the sun. I, I, I'm not really a sun person. I'm not a beach bunny. I'm more of an indoor sports kind of guy. <laughs> you know, sitting at, sitting at home with the guitar, you know, like, it's just, just very simple. I, I, I'm all about nightlife. I, I live during the night, so I guess that, that would be the coolest aspect for me. Victoria I like her role a lot like she's just she's uh she's the same way I guess she's kind of ferocious and she's um I don't know she's in it to win it and it's it's just a completely it's a flip side it's like my character's spunky and fun and and good-hearted and she's just evil I think on that same basis I'd have to say James you know it's just uh I think that's kind of who Jasper is at the core of his character but he's found a, a a girl he can love and kind of take care of him and, and let him be the uh, the sweeter, softer side that, uh, that, you know, a girl like Victoria wouldn't really let him to be. Well, I tried. You did cut her hair. I tried. You cut her hair a good five inches, six uh, inches. She has yeah. long hair, naturally. My hair is, like, down to here, naturally. And uh, we cut a good bit off of it to even get it. I mean, I cut it to here because it's obviously wigged, but no, I was all for the short hair. Um, but, you know, I guess there's a lot. Well, with production, with the, you know, stand-ins and stunt doubles, we all have uh, quite a few, and, uh, you know, they, they, they also have to match all of, of, all of them as well. So they found out for the girls, uh, you know, certain characters with short hair, it might be a little bit easier. And for me, they just, uh, you know, they don't care because I'm next to her anyway, and every time I'm next to her, you just look this way. <laughs> it's much, much better, much better sight.